Hey everyone! Today, we're diving into the rumor around the upcoming iPhone SE 4th generation, a release that's stirring quite the excitement among iPhone enthusiasts. If you're into budget-friendly, high-quality tech, you're going to want to hear this. So, why is the iPhone SE 4 such a big deal? These budget iPhones always get a lot of attention because they bring Apple's quality to a wider audience. The iPhone SE series, in particular, has had a reputation for packing some impressive features into a more affordable package. And the fourth generation, it's shaping up to potentially be one of the best yet. Now, onto the juicy part. A recent leak has given us what might be our first glimpse at the iPhone SE 4. But remember, take this with a grain of salt. While leaks can be exciting, they're not always accurate. According to this leaked CAT render, the design seems to be a blend of past iPhone models, sporting a look similar to the iPhone XR at the back and hints of iPhone 14 at the front. The back features a simplistic single-camera setup with a flash, nothing too extravagant, but on the front, it seems we might get a sleeker design. The notch appears smaller, suggesting a more refined aesthetic, though the overall display might stay in line with the iPhone 14's dimensions. There's also some buzz around the potential inclusion of a USB-C port, a change likely influenced by recent EU regulations. This move away from the Lightning port is something many have anticipated and would mark a significant shift for iPhone design standards. While we don't have a confirmed release date, speculation points towards an early 2025 launch, possibly around March. It's always exciting to see how accurate these leaks are once the product is officially unveiled. So stay tuned as we'll definitely keep you updated on the iPhone SE 4 as more information comes out. What are your thoughts on the iPhone SE 4th generation? Are you excited about it? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech news and reviews. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.